God bless to everyone who's listening to me and watching me right about now. I have a word that is going to direct you, a very powerful word that is going to help you in your day-to-day -day life. This word is going to jumpstart your day. Brothers and sisters, the word is, she is asking a lot of questions to have you killed. So be very careful who you trust and who you talk to. There are people in your life, not only one person, who have made it their job to keep asking you a lot of questions. Some of them, the questions seem as though they are not harmless. It may seem as though they, those people are joking, but they are not joking. They are serious with what they are saying. Be very careful. I pray that God gives you a spirit of discernment, that you may be able to discern your enemy even before they speak, even before they come close to you. May God give you those eyes that you may be able to see your enemies from a far distant place. Some of them are acting as though they are FBI or CIA because we know that the FBI or CIA are known for asking those questions. They are known for asking all those questions. Some of them are, asking, are acting as though they are the police or the law enforcement officer. They keep asking you questions, the same questions day to day. Every day they ask you the same questions. Be very careful when someone starts asking you the same question on a daily basis. It is not that they have forgotten what you told them. No. They know what they are saying. Be very careful. Some of them would ask you even questions like, uh, that may seem to be harmless. Or they may, like, how are you? Every day they're asking you, how are you? Of course, there are some people ask you, how are you? Because they love you. But there are some who ask you, how are you? Because they want to check whether that witchcraft or trap they set for you is working. So they want to check on you. Be very careful. To the people who ask you a lot of questions. I want to read to you a scripture that is going to be a blessing to you. This scripture is again the story of Samson. You know, the story of Samson tells us a lot of things that we should learn from our enemies. That even before our enemies strike, there are signs that he shows. There are clear indications that show that an enemy is about to strike you. And the scripture is from the book of Judges, chapter 16, verse 6 to 10. Judges, chapter 16, verse 6 to 10. And it reads, So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me where your great strength lies and with what you may be bound to afflict you. And Samson said to her, if they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. So the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, and she bound him with them. Now men were lying in wait, staying with her in the room. And she said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he broke the bowstrings as a strand of yarn breaks when it touches fire. So the secret of his strength was not known. Then Delilah said to Samson, Look, you have mocked me and told me lies. Now, please tell me what you may be bound with. What a powerful scripture. I don't know what Samson was thinking about. That he could not realize that Delilah meant to kill him. Some of your enemies have given you clear signs that they are plotting against you. But you have not yet picked it up. How, Samson was a very great man, by the way. He was a man of wisdom. But because of love, 
Love blinded him. Don't allow love to blind you. Never allow love to make you blind. Now the scripture says in verse 6, So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me where your great strength lies and with what you may be bound, bound to afflict you. What kind of question is that? What manner of question is that? The woman who claimed to love her now wants to know where, her str where his strength comes from. And not only that, she even tells him that, uh, tell me where your strength is so that I can bound you to afflict you. Can you imagine what kind of question that is? And Samson was willing to tell Delilah where his strength comes from. But of course, in the first uh, few uh, conversations or dialogue they had with her, he lied to her. But if you were Samson, if I, I was Samson, I would run away. I would not even just lie. I would just run. But Samson kept on entertaining her. Stop entertaining your enemy. Don't be too wise in your own decisions. And think that you overcome it. Just run away and leave God. You know, sometimes it is better to just run. Leave that person. Walk away from them. But Samson came, kept on entertaining Delilah with lies. Now, when he told her a lie, as the scripture says, the lords of the Philistines brought the very thing that she had requested. They brought to her seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried up. And she bound him with them. She bound him. To, to, to make you know that she was serious. She bound him. Now men were lying in wait in the room. But Samson was able to break off them. Thank God that at that time, the first incident, they didn't work out. Brothers and sisters, run away from those people. Not even just run, walk away from them. Don't entertain them. Because they are willing to kill you this is a word that i have for you until next time god bless you